Okay, what's up guys? I just got back from a coaching or a game where I was coaching. My kids were playing and it's just something I wanted to put in the coach's journal, which I feel can help coaches and players alike. Now for me, I'm a person that likes to, if I see something's not working, I will take action and I'll go to change it. Now that is what happened in today's game. I started out with the usual formation I've been using for the past three games and in preseason, and we were 4 0 down at half time. So now I could see as the kids were playing, something's not right. This formation's not working. So immediately I took action and I was like, okay, usually I play three at the back. I said, okay, you know what? I'm playing two at the back now, and I'm going a bit more attacking, add more in the midfield as well. And let me try that out and see how it works. In the end, we were 4-0 down in the first half. We ended up losing the game 7-4. But we were 5-0 down. We came back 5-4. And then in the end, we lost 7-4, unfortunately. But the main thing I could see was, for me, when I'm coaching kids, I don't care about winning or losing necessarily. But I care about how they play. You know, the actual energy they're giving in the game. And I could see from there that basically from there I could see this formation works better than my previous ones. So the main message I want to give to coaches and players alike is don't be afraid to be like I was wrong, I made a mistake. Because for me personally I can say I made a mistake with that formation at first, the three at the back. It didn't suit the plays that I had. So I could see I'm wrong here, let me change it. Now a lot of people and, and a lot of coaches have pride in the sense that, no, I can never be wrong. The players are wrong. They must adjust to what I've set out. They must just adjust to the things I plan and all of that. For me personally, I feel if you have that mentality, you will never grow as a coach and as a player. Because at the end of the day, no matter your opinion on someone's methods, you can always learn from their methods. Like for me personally, I would disagree with my coach's training methods all of my coaches in the past but I look to see why was he doing that let me see why or, or let me see how I can use that in my own way when I coach so every opportunity or every there's always an opportunity to learn in a mistake so don't be afraid to make that mistake if you choose the wrong team set the wrong formation then you know if you see like I, I want to change it have the guts to change it and if you get hit like for me it could have easily ended up 12 no 8 no if I stayed if I changed the, 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 the formation on another day we could have got smashed but I still had the guts to go out there and be like you know what I want to change it I see it's not working I want to change it and especially if you're a U team coach like me grassroots level you're coaching under sixes under eights under tens under twelve do it Try it because at the end of the day, these kids are playing to learn. Forget about the result. Focus on them playing. How do they play? Are they playing with more energy? Are they passing the ball better? Are they moving into spaces, defending better? Like I could see my kids at this age cannot play three at the back. It's too many players at the back. So shifting it to two makes them work in a 2v2 and they fit in better. As in going forward, also, it basically, it's a, it's a tool so they can work as a team. So team in defense, team in attack. And then in midfield, there's four. So basically, they've got four players in the midfield who can work with each other. So basically, what I'm trying to do is, I'm not afraid of being wrong, firstly. I was wrong with the formation that I put out, so I changed it. So the main thing I want to say is to coaches, don't be afraid to be wrong. If you can see something's not working, try it. And an example is Pep Guardiola. What he, the, the team he, he set up for the Champions League final against Chelsea, the system didn't work. Chelsea basically beat his system. Tuchel outplayed him in that regard. But he had the balls and the guts to try it. Because on any other day, he could have won that final with that same team. So he could have put Rodri and got hit 4-0. So that's what I'm saying, everyone's going to have an opinion about what you should do, but the main thing is if you want to change it and you see that there's an opportunity for change, do it. Of course, 
if you're more high level, like you're coaching a pro team or semi-pro team, there's a lot more on the line. But you still have to have the guts to make that change. And if you're playing or if you're coaching crossroads, there's your opportunity to learn at a low pressure environment. So once again, just to summarize, don't be afraid to see that if something is wrong, to change it and to try something else. If you have an idea, implement it. Try it because at the end of the day, you have nothing to lose. These players are going to learn either way. So just try it. Do it. See and then if it does work, then you know, okay, moving forward, I can do that. If, if it doesn't work, it's more learning opportunities for you. So you can't lose. You can only win. That's the one thing you need to keep in your mind. Something I think of, of when I'm playing, I can't lose. I can't fail because once I start thinking about if I do this wrong, if I do that wrong, I just make more mistakes. So I just think everything's going to go right. And sometimes it will go right, sometimes it won't. But either way, you learn and you grow and you improve.